Hey guys, it's Gadget, and it's um, 5.18 here on October 16, 2016. I'm sorry, yesterday's was a very short vlog. It's just that I was going through craziness and everything. I'm still in pain from falling and all the other things that have been going on, the fibromyalgia, everything else and all that, plus um, dealing with stuff and everything because right now, I don't know what to make of life and everything because it has been too quiet on the front. I'm hoping they finally stopped. You know, because then I can get on with things for Halloween and my birthday because I'm tired of this, you know. But then something else popped up on Facebook that made me think about things and stuff. And it reminded me of something that happened when Graveworn came back into my life when he threw me away in 2014. Okay? Everyone forgets Graveworn made like a one-hour video and everything and all this other stuff. And I had a reaction video to it, but then he deleted the video because he doesn't want any proof that he actually begged me to come back and everything. All right? That he was so sorry and stuff and everything. But you know what? Around that time, too, this video had popped up. And everyone knows, everyone loves Medea. I love Medea. Tyler Perry, that was the best thing you ever could have done because she reminds me so much of my Aunt Thora and all the other people that have gone and passed away in my life. And sorry, guys. It's just I miss a lot of my family. Okay? Uh, basically, her words are like what I grew up with, the old school. Where it's like how you deal with things and stuff. We don't play and everything, you know. That's how I grew up. And people think it's a cultural thing that and all that. No, 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 no. If you're Italian, if you were Spanish, if you were Irish, if you were um, Cuban, if you were black, if you were African. You know what I mean? Every culture has it where it's like wake up and smell the roses. You know what I mean? People come into your life, this and everything. So in the bottom of the post, I'll put in the, the link to the, the Vine video from this gentleman. Um, I got to get his name because he only has, he's the only one with the full video of it. It's Joshua Davis. And basically, he's the only one with the full video where it says, Medea, let, let him go. And she talks about how people in your life and everything. And I really, guys, I want you to watch that video because I don't want to go too much into detail on it. But it's basically, like, basically if they were leaf, a branch... A root on your tree and sorry guys I'm dealing with a lot of stuff because we still can't find the dead mouse in here because that was another thing last night I didn't sleep because it seems that um the little creatures are coming out of the woodwork because um we don't know why there's been a lot of construction in the building we also have a new building being built on the block so everything's running here and shadow was busy last night I had to put two in the garbage all this other stuff I was wondering why he was throwing up because he's eating the damn things so Basically, the video, it's a Vine, a Vimo, no, not Vine, it's a V-I-M-E-O dot com video, and it's basically the full video about how Medea tells, I think it's her nephew or whatever, about how you have to let people go, because if they're not going to change their life, if they're not going to fix anything for you, they're only supposed to come for a season and everything, but that's the catch. You don't know until it happens who's here for a season and who's here to be permanent and everything, and she says how people have to learn to, to be alone. Right? She says she's happy with a goldfish and a puppet. So basically, this is the thing people misconstrue or prejudge me about. They think I can't be alone. Guys, I am alone. I know how to live alone. I just don't want to be alone. There's a difference. You know, there's sometimes I want some company over here or anything like that, but I know how to live alone. I got the cat. I got everything. I'm cleaning my apartment. I'm doing stuff, getting into fights with my parents because they don't understand what's been going on, all the other things, having to deal with things and stuff that people think I have all the time in the world to do, but don't, you know, because I'm limited to things. I'm still in pain from my thumb. We have to get a different brace and everything. It's not working. The bone bruising is so bad that it's not funny. I fell again. I mean, come on, guys. When you have fibromyalgia, sometimes you don't even feel your feet because of the pain and everything. They go numb and all this other stuff. I have the opposite of everything, right? And trust me, I don't have diabetes. I don't have any of this other stuff. I haven't checked out. But I spent so much money trying to figure out how to get, make sure nothing was broken. Because I'm tired of this, you know? Can't afford Obamacare. Can't afford this and everything. Right? So today was a day I got up late again. But I actually slept through the night. And I loved it because I actually slept through the night. But I really didn't because I didn't go to bed till about 5 in the morning because we were chasing mice all night. So... I got some of the Halloween stuff out, everything else. And then as I'm going through Facebook and everybody checking up on me, making sure, because there's so many rumors going around that um, I'm a bitch and all this other stuff. I don't friggin' care anymore because that's a coward's way of saying to people that, you know what, you're still popular. You know what, there's a, um, what is it, a wanted song that everyone, it's called Everyone Knows, right? I'm popular because of everything, right? 
but it's from a guy's point of view. They should change it because that's actually why I'm popular, because my point of view of everything, because everyone knows me because it's the show and everything, right? So I'll even put a link to that song for you guys and everything, because my life right now is this. I asked Gravehorn if he was a leaf, branch, or a root in my life. He claimed he was a root and everything, and that's why I took him back, because he wanted to try and anything that he was going to be a strong root. No, he ended up being a dead root with holes in it that I had to cut off because he started out being a leaf that tried to grow into something more. And then he became a branch that broke every time I didn't agree with what he said. But then when he became the root, he got termite rotten and everything and stuff. So that's the thing because he doesn't want to tell the truth. And that's the thing. Lies are the termites. That's the analogy I have. And then to find out there's other things I had on Facebook Live, people contacting me. I'm like, I don't know what's game and what is fantasy world, what's reality with him and everything, because right now I live in the reality. His friends all live in the fantasy world because, guys, life is not going to be drama free. Life is not going to be all video games and everything, sitting in your room and playing, okay? I mean, there's so many things that can happen and stuff, but this is the thing. If you're going to keep this up and blame me for your sad life, what was it all for those three years? Because that's all he ever did was blame me every time he left. I'm not going, I don't even know what the hell is going on now. Like this girl keeps contacting me saying that he this and everything and all this other stuff. I don't care what the fuck is going on. Sorry if I cursed. But right now I'm concentrating because it is now the 16th. By this time I should have had already thing, a lot of stuff out of here cleaned. A lot of things taken care of because I've got state tests coming up. I've got Halloween. I've got my birthday. Yeah, if I don't do anything and I'm alone, that's okay. I have shadow. I'll put a birthday hat on him. You know? I'm not depressed. I'm not sad. Everyone thinks, oh, she's depressed. She's everything. She's hiding it. No, 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 no. Trust me. You'll know when I'm upset. Oh, when I'm upset. Right now, I'm not even talking to one of my friends. And he knows I'm pissed because I have not returned calls. He's called like three times. He's even left. Did he leave a message this time? No, he did not leave a message this time. He called, you know what I mean? So basically, and this is not... Grave one friend. This is a friend I had from college. But he has a new girl and everything. So be with your new girl. Problem is he doesn't know how to handle his new girl. Because, you know, she's different. She's not like what he had before. And that's the thing. People don't like change. People only know what they know. And then they don't know how to do anything. Because they've never had to encounter somebody that's different from them. Or different from their mold. Or different from their world or anything. They don't know how to deal. And that also says character about people and stuff. It's not only Graveborn, it's everybody I know. People, I tell people, just don't figure me out. Stop. You're never going to figure me out. I'm different. And I like being different. I like the way I am. I am not your normal, typical person that you guys think has to be. No. And don't make me into somebody else because you want something that I can't be. Because I have similar characteristics to that. No, don't do that. And don't lie to people and tell them things that aren't true, that you you actually did leave me and came back and begged me back. I did nothing wrong in this. Like all my other exes did. Everyone has to blame me for their own fault. Same with my family, same with my sister, same with everything. No one wants to look at themselves. They hate the fact that I have high self-esteem because you know what? I learned to take care of myself on my own and love myself. Was anyone helping me? Yes, maybe with my dyslexia and everything, but they overdid it. And they kept me from doing things, which I had to break that, that hold, that everything. But the sad thing is that life has a way of telling you, like, who your real friends are and everything. Okay, fine and great. But if you keep the bad ones around, too, or the fair weather friends, as they used to be called, or the ones that, like the branch, break away because you walk away from them because they can't handle it because they're so weak but strong at the same time, you got to see yourself, what you did. Because it, you can only keep blaming somebody for so much stuff, you know, that, that that's your own fault. Eventually, the truth is going to come out, and it's going to hit hard. People looking on the outside. So everyone keeps telling me, move on, move forward. But I have no idea what the hell is going on. I closed that chapter on Graveworn the day I did the live Facebook video saying I finally was able to block him. Because I saw his lies. I saw how he treated me and everything. And that's what made me walk away because I would have stayed and fought for him. But I could see that the lies outweigh the good. And that's why I walked away.
but then to have people keep calling me to keep doing this, creating drama. Everyone says I'm feeding into it because of this. No, I'm documenting this because there are rules here in the United States. Certain states have different rules. I can't record phone calls because I have to get permission from the other party. And then they don't, here's the thing. Our police say no, you and lawyers say you don't have to change your life for a bully because that's the thing. Most people will not stand up to a bully. Most people don't want to fight a bully and everything. My grandmother changed her number 15 times and they still got a hold of her, okay? I'm not changing my life and me to make someone else happy. That's what the UK police wanted. And then I saw an article, well, a YouTube video from Lily Allen on how she was being stalked and the way the UK police just said, oh, it's okay, blah, 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 and swept it under. And she was very upset with that because they let these people do this. And over there, same thing. There was a child that had bleach poured on them. Lucky the kid had glasses. But they call, oh, that's a silly act, accident, and a silly act. Uh, that's, no, that's, that's, that's damage. That's attempted murder because bleach can kill and poison. Uh, hello, that, that's wrong. That bully should be arrested. No, we're going to do positive reinforcement. Welcome to the world of idiots, idiocracy. A movie that was supposed to be a comedy ended up being a documentary. So what do we do, people? Well, I get on with my life because Grayborn's pattern is to leave and walk away. He'll come back eventually. But will I take him back? No. Because he had, uh, well, technically, he has up until my birthday to fix it. But he has to fix it for real. He can't keep doing this fake fixing, you know? And guys, you know why I'm doing this video is because when I saw the video that one of my friends put up about let them go with Medea, it just brought back all the memories of everything, you know, of him leaving, coming back, all the stuff and everything and my YouTubes and all that stuff because I see people have been watching them. So I'd like to know, thank you guys for watching them. But at the same time, the ones who claim that I'm no good and a crazy bitch and everything, please stop watching my videos. I don't care if I lose viewers or anything like that. Um, because if you guys really hate me, then stop, unsubscribe to me. And you guys know who you are because they're on there and everything. And it, I know who they are too. It's the Rip Hunter one and the, uh, person that's like anime and everything that threw away Rip Hunter and everything. So guys, this is the thing. You know what you did was wrong. You know what you did to me was wrong. But if you're still going to lie about it, I'm going to tell you this right now. Your guilt will eat you alive. And trust me, it will. Karma's a bitch. I've already been dealing with my karma and everything. I got an old boss back. I got basically all the other stuff. So I atone for my karma. I admit to what I do and everything. And trust me, guys, I do admit to what I do. Okay? That's the one thing Grayborn liked about me. I own up to my own faults. And you know what? I'm telling the truth on everything. And it's been here since 2013, every time he left. Even the thing about the roses he gave me. So he cannot deny any of it. Plus, I have the Skype, and I have all the OkCupids okay and the Facebook page things because I was writing a book about how I met somebody over there, and it was going to be friendship and everything. He's the one that asked me because he finally I thought he finally grew up. But guys, you got to remember this. There were 100 people that wanted it and were happy with it. But then there were the other ones that he values more that don't like me, and they're too scared to come confront me. Because they would rather just do it like this instead of calling me up on a phone politely or coming here in person. Because you know what? Bullies are cowards. And they were bullied once before. And I was bullied too. But you know what? I'm not bullying you guys. I'm not slandering your name. I'm speaking the truth. And I said that. I will speak the truth until the truth comes out. No more will Greyborn, Rip, Skywalker, the little anime girl, the 14 year old con runner or anyone else in his friend circle who has not met me or met me because I disciplined you is based on what you say when I corrected a situation with you because you asked me for help and then lied to it about your, to your other friends who never even met me who wanted violence right off the bat. Really get your story straight because now, like I said, I love when Medea says that, to let them go. I also have to help my friend with her homework, because that's the type of person I am. Because you know what? A lot of people come to me for help. A lot of people know I'm a good person. But don't be jealous of me. Don't envy me or don't hate me because I'm that person. I already have to deal with one of my other friends, whose fiancé is so jealous and everything, because that's the way she's coming off to me. 
And I'm sitting there going like, this is my friend. This is my sister. This is someone who knows me and I would never do anything to hurt. But the fiance is so friggin' jealous or gets mad when I talk. You know what? I considered you all family, but don't, don't stop me from talking to someone that needs somebody to talk to or I compliment on something. You can keep everybody. I'm not out to steal anybody. I'm not out to take anybody away from anybody. I'm not out to do anything to anybody. That gets done to me. And just recently with Gravehorn and his jealous ass friends. And my cat is like, if you guys want to see, which way can I show you? What are you doing? You guys have met Shadow, right? Here, let's see. You can meet him. There he is. That's Shadow. What are you doing? Your public wants to look at you. Hmm? Hi. Yeah, where are you going? Huh? Yeah, he's going this way now. Okay, so we're going to sit here back. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you can see him or not, but there he goes. Ah, now he's back on the thing. All right. Yeah, he's camera shy sometimes. Otherwise, he'll be in the camera too. But guys, I'm going to put the link for the Medea. And, I'm sorry, I'm going to put the link for Medea. And I'm going to put the link for the wanted uh, video, if they have a video of it. I'm also going to put my, my P.O. box because, like I said, thanks to um, Graveworn's friends harassing and slandering and all the other stuff, I had to disable the comments on these because I'm tired of the derogatory. I mean, there's haters. Haters are going to hate and everything. But you, when you slander somebody else's name, I don't care what you guys do to me. I could delete them and report them. I don't care what you do to me. But when you slander Graveworn's name and make up stories about things, you know what? If he's not denying them, then it may be true. I don't fucking care. He's left me before he's done everything. I'm not like his little friend um, that's got the same name as Shrek's girlfriend and everything. Said, oh, you're depression, not boyfriend, girlfriend. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That is you guys. You guys are so depressed and everything. You, you can take that. You've posted that too. That's another thing too. His friends post videos about them being depressed, them taking pills, all this other stuff and everything, right? But then I get blamed for it. That's the funniest thing. All these three years, I was blamed. No, you guys are posting videos about it. I'm not supposed to talk about my life? Oh, hell no, we're not playing that game. No one controls me. I'm not slandering anybody. I'm not saying anything. I'm just telling the truth. And the same thing like the book. Yes, I may have to tweak a line because even though they want me to say self-harming because one of his friends is a self-harmer, I feel that uh, even though that this person disrespected me, out of respect for them, I sh should just make it a certain way. I'll be saying, like, caused injury to themselves. Because that's a different way of saying it. It's not self-harming. Self-harming is actually the pol polite way to say it, but caused injury to themselves. Because, you know what? They talked about it, too, on their blog. So they can't hold that against me. I never spread anybody's personal stuff. Your friends did. So don't blame me for that. I was coming to my defense because you guys wanted to threaten to hurt me and everything. And I have those papers. So don't play that game with me. You hear me, Rip Hunter? Don't play that game with me. I have the proof of your friends attacking me because of what you said. Okay? Don't play that game with me. That's how you get on my bad side. And why I don't speak to you anymore. And I don't care. You're old enough to be my kid. Respect people. Okay? Respect those that you came crying to for help. You hear me on that one? Same thing, Grayborn. Start showing some respect. I was the one that tried to get you help with the doctors and everything. You want to lie about that too? And tell all your little friends to stop. Because I was so happy when the calls stopped coming in, but then when they started coming in again. Especially that one from someone with a raspy voice the other day. And then another one from a younger, but they were both male. So I don't know who those are. But like now, like I said, this video was about the fact that heck is he sorry guys i know you're hearing that what are you doing look at him there's nothing there what are you doing would you like to show them he's licking he's licking i don't know there's no food there he's got a full bowl of food would you like to tell your public why you're licking and I, they hear this noise and they think it's me Folks, this is this is the entertainment here. This is the, the king of the house. 
He steals the remotes, everything else. He's stolen my bras, put them under the couch. He's stolen. Okay, this is the owner of the house. Right now, he's got the cover from an airline pillow he's laying on. Okay? Now he's cleaning his paws. All right. Wait do you see him for Halloween. I'm trying to get him a costume. Okay? So, guys, here's the thing. Get on with your friggin' lives. Leave me alone. You want nothing to do with me, then stay out of them. But if you want to keep tabs on me because you're that paranoid, I don't feel sorry for you. Because if you're going to act this way at 20 years old, 30 years old, what's it going to be like when you're 60? What's it going to be like when you're 40? What are you going to be like, you know? I ain't paranoid. I ain't lying. I ain't anything. I'm telling the truth. And I document it. So, guys, like I said, I have a lawyer on this. It's up to me now if I want to pursue a case, but by the way you guys have been acting, I'm going to let yourselves do yourselves in. What's the point? You're already screwed over to begin with, and I ain't slandering you guys because your actions speak louder than words. It'd be nice if some of you would actually talk to me like human beings instead of running scared like you all did off my page. If you didn't have anything to hide, you should stay, just like a few of his other friends are staying. They have nothing to hide. They know me. So guys... Here's the thing. I'm getting ready for Halloween. I'm going to do some mouse hunting in here, as well as many other things, and try to get my life back. Because for three years, I had to babysit his ass. Because that's what it felt like. Oh, be a good girl. Be this and everything. Right? Sorry. I'm not stooping to that level anymore. He wants to fix it. Fine and great. Wants to blame me for other people's choices. Fine and great. But just remember this. You live with the guilt. I'm guilt-free. I have no hand in anything, and I'm living my life. And if someone does come knocking at my door, I hope... Well, no, the last time I said that, that you were supposed to be the one that was supposed to be nice to me. Guess what? Who knows what this next one's going to be, but you know what? It, they better not be wanting to be kept hidden. Because either way, both need to be acknowledged and everything else. Because I've been kept hidden, and it's not nice. I won't do that to anybody. So, to everyone, have fun today. It is 541. I am going to post this on YouTube. Hopefully today gets better. I can get some, go through some more of this stuff, get the Halloween stuff together, and hopefully get the knitting, everything, so I could start back on things that I put on hold because of him. Put the bedroom back because I had to get all the luggage out and everything. Like, I'm going to go back to the UK. <laughs> The only thing there right now is the Doctor Who experience. Everything else just reminds me of New York and upstate New York. And for that, I have waterfalls here and I have everything else. The only thing cool about it was the accents. But it's very high priced. So guys, I took my leap of faith. I took my once-in-a-lifetime journey before the age of 40. So that's off my bucket list. Because you guys forgot, I have a cancer lump in my knee. As well as the coastal chondritis and the fibromyalgia. My cancer lump is in remission, but I have to be careful not to fall, and I fell twice, so I have to I had to get it checked out. So far, so good. It didn't dislodge it or anything like that, but it's still in remission. And just as a precaution, they wanted me to take uh, one of the pills and everything for about two weeks. And I've been doing that, and I'm almost finished with it. That's why if you saw my face the way it is, yeah, that's because of that. So guys, here's the thing. Get to know me. Don't prejudge me. Because you may find a lot of different things and lies that were told about me were not tr that, that you'll find the truth out about. But you guys that ran, you're the biggest cowards ever. Stand up. Because I stand up to my bullies. I haven't bullied you, but you know what, you bullies? You're cowards. Why don't you stand up to your bullies and maybe you wouldn't bully me? Because I did nothing to any of you. Look at yourself. Before you judge, put judgment on me. Like they say in the in that Bible story, that if you ha with he would out sin, or she would out sin, cast the first stone. I don't see anybody else here. I have sin too, because I let people walk over me, and this time no one's walking over me. So guys, no more rumors, no more anything. I'm getting ready for Halloween. If you want to send any comments or anything, send it to the PO box. You want to send anything for Halloween? You saw my dragon that I like. My little dragon that breeds fire from for real friends. Because you know what? I wish I could put the comments back on here. But until I can be 
safe to say that we're not going to have any more slandering or derogatory nasty people because of being cowards. I have to now do it as P.O. Box and everything and everything else. So, guys, have fun. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys because I also have to do a lecture at Lehman. And maybe, hopefully, the camera, I can get it to work, and I'll upload that. But see you guys soon. All right. Bye.